What's up, gamers? So, I just recorded an episode of Elden Ring, right? I put it into the into the video editor, and game audio here just fine. Me talking, on the other hand, uh, non-existent. My mic stopped working for some reason, and that's been a common happenstance lately for some reason. Like, whenever I uh, put the computer to sleep or just turn the computer back on, sometimes the mic doesn't register. I don't know what's up with that. I really gotta figure out what's going on. Because it's kind of happening with my TVs too. Monitors, sorry. But I digress. So, instead of having live commentary, it's we're gonna shorten the video and I'm gonna tell you succinctly what happened. Let's get into this. So, we're heading for the Church of Anticipation so we can get a dead maiden's blood on a piece of cloth for good old White Mask Bear, who has somehow gotten more annoying than he was initially. Uh, but to get to the church, uh, this tower that has the Eye of Sauron on it uh, is kind of in the way. So, we clear it out first, and then we go to the Temple of Anticipation. Side note, I fought some guys that looked like knights, like they had swords and shields, but then all of a sudden they just started casting madness spells on me, so I don't know what's up with that. Now then, we're at the Church of Anticipation, but there is a gatekeeper, Festering Fingerprint Vike. He's, well, I don't know if he's a cool guy, but he looks cool, his weapon's cool, uh, the weapon skill is cool, and basically, I'm kind of jealous. Uh, but it was easy enough to kill him. It was a bit close because, uh, you see here, I, that's when I noticed the madness bar was almost full, so I had to back off and wait for it to go down. But I played smart. I played well, and we got him pretty easily. After getting rid of the gatekeeper, we go into the chapel, get the sacred tear, get the maiden clothes, and then we dye the cloth in some blood. It's all good. It's all chill. She's dead. She's not using the blood anyway. <laughs> I don't need. I don't need to ask. Side note two: Before we go talk to Ver. I came to the Church of Vows so I could get box gold sewing needles for later. Just so you know, we did that. Ah, my lambkin. Now, I don't know why he's calling me his lambkin, but let me tell you, I'm not a fan. I almost killed him for it, but I held myself back. Because if I kill him, I can't complete the quest. And that would be a playthrough fail but we got the badge we got a bloody finger that we're not going to use I, th I by the way I think I think he ripped off a fingernail from one of my fingers I don't know which one but I had to offer a finger and there were some graphic sounds there were no graphic images there were no graphic actions he was just kind of pointed at my finger there were some noises and yeah a bloody finger badge now we're on the Mogwin Palace yet uh, I don't think there's anything else to say about Vare other than the fact that I really don't like it when he calls me his lambkin also he drops this which is even creepier you have the sweetest scream my lambkin but whatever whatever we're done with Vare now for a bit. The next time we see Vare, we're going to be killing him. It's part of the quest. It's going to be awesome. But now, let us go to Stormvale Castle and kill Margit and, well, Dar Godric, but not Godric yet. It got kind of close at the end, but uh, with my God Gamer skills and the fact that I've got a lot of experience fighting Margit, uh, I was able to pull through at the end. First try. So, um,. I'm satisfied. The first trying Margit is a lot better than spending about an hour and a half 
unmark it on my first playthrough. So you, that's that's a marginal. By marginal, I mean substantial increase in skill. Now, Dos Doc's quest. His, he he doesn't really have a quest. He's part of another quest, which that's the main part of his quest. But here's what you do: you talk to him. You're like, oh, I'm gonna use the main gate, or uh, I'll listen to your advice. Either way, you get you're kind of fucked by him if you're just going through the Stormville Castle while he's still alive. Because if you die, he steals a portion of your souls. But I digress. Um, I'm keeping that in. Basically, you gotta go to a room. If you wanna go into the room, closes the door, locks it. There's a banished knight in there. It's pretty powerful. Not a fan of him. Uh, kill him. Get a rusty key. Continue onward. That's about it. His Gostok's quest line. You need to do Kenneth Heights and Nefeli Lu's quest line. You need to complete those two first. On top of killing Godric, but you should be killing Godric before completing Kenneth and Nefeli's. In fact, I'm pretty sure you need to kill Godric's Godric to start Nefeli's, but uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, but yeah, fuck Gastock. And that was all I did for this episode. I was about 26 minutes of no mic working, that's, so that's cool. Uh, next episode, we're going to be killing Godric, hopefully. Uh, and then, other than that, maybe starting Fia's questline. Uh, maybe starting Nefeli's questline. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like this, more so than the normal Elden Ring videos, like, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Give, give me the information I need to give you videos that you guys want. Okay? Okay. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace!